Hello. We are going to visit the Night Springs one more time. One last time. I'm still waiting for the lake house. It might it it has a potential to be great, but for now, we are going to the to see what else awaits us in today's episode of Night Springs. What? Why? How come? It is connected. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if, for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him, in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds across the multiverse across the many versions of a city that is always the same yet always different in night springs he made this entire intro and in my mind i am drawing blanks Tonight's reality bending episode time breaker i'm drawing blank like who that does description fit to this is gonna be the quantum break? No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it. And I will come back for you, my love. Yeah. And cut. Everyone, take five. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da, da, da. It's like a meeting from the Remedy directors, like just a writer's room meeting. <laughs> Let's make it crazier. But sir, we already have like three singing numbers and one wild mi mind-breaking uh, conclusions. So cool Let's make it crazier. Let's dive in. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Time Breaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So because we are stopping Dor, are we gonna get 
the door stopper. Title by the end of the, this episode. So the vortex and the gadget. Uh, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here, but it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? <laughs> like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, <laughs> the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year a stalking is part of the video game and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere your character, the agent, is real and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man, totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Is it really like... Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. Does it really look like does it really look like that that you basically arrive at the scene or or set and this is when you get your lines in the green room when you're preparing? I thought that they have ooh. No, this is your end. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hello? They are not getting the script what into the... What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. Yeah, so the... You just actors arrive at the scene and they never get the lines before? I thought that it's known before, so they can pr prepare. What is this? Time Breaker, written by Sam Lake. Suddenly, psychedelic cold lights flare up through the open doorway. Branch, OS in the room, fierce, panicked shout. No! Door, door, OS in the room, forceful. This is your end. A loud struggle can be heard from the room. Actor, spook, disbelieving. What the fuck? Actor, useful, careful. Hello? Interior, green room, day. The actor steps into the room. A body sits against the wall on the floor. Someone has been killed. It's the actor's double, a trail of blood on the wall where he hit his head. At his feet lies a gun, a siphon flashlight, TBS, and the scepter-like PRS. Actor shocked to the point of hysterics. What the fuck is this? Actor voiceover. I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing crazy, pr crazy prank on me. No way this is real. A screenplay lies on the floor. The title page reads, Timebreaker, written by Sam Lake. The poison pill logo visible on the page. The PP logo is visible on the page. It's double. Another page of a screenplay also visible. It's one to one this page here. If the player investigates the page. Huh? What is this? <laughs> Maybe he said that before. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. Hi, so we got another one of you, huh? Is it Jesse? Excuse me? <laughs> yes. Hi. <laughs> No, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. He finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Oh. Listen to me. 
There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> Yep, I was just pulled. What the fuck? What the fuck? I look different. Why I do I look different? I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before. But that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. How long has I been away? I have beard. The last and thing I remembered hair. was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. <laughs> think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off-the-wall, method-acting reality show? It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Violence is not a solution. Where the hell am I? More multiverse nonsense. But I was committed to play along. Danger. Night, Springs, City Park, Parallel, Reality, Bleed Zone, Cross-Dimensional Anomaly, No Trespassing, Authorized, Wreck, Personal Only. I still have oh, charges in my flashlight. I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. I am worried that I am not getting no 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 Door's coming. no nothing. He knows where I am. Where oh, was that? Oh, it's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer, away from the TV. No, can't. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me, the one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think, just act. I just got the flashbang grenade. Blue mm. Vista TV. I don't like grenades. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy node. The other me had hidden it away from this trailer. Handwriting was mine. He there really likes his mental maps. About the multiverse and Tor, the master of many worlds. Who is the master of many worlds? Darling's book. He, he's pulling the strings. I must hide from him. The red-haired woman. I must find her again. I know her. Lisa, Elisa, Jesse, Elizabeth, Liz, Savage, Dylan. I heard their the thoughts when they died. The energy out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. Shh, 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 shh. I have to go look for it. Shh, shh, shh. I'm reading here. The spear of the grid, we are connected in our dreams. Because one of us is the chosen one who can stop him, replace him. Wreck Agent Branch, Time Breaker, James S. You're a paranoid nutcase. Door, me, another me, someone else. Who wrote this? String theory, multiverse. Why is he after me? After us. He's coming. Polyhedrons are the. Uh, polyhedrons are what? Are the key killing us? Not dead. Something worse. Broken. Am I the chosen one? I must be careful. Find a way to break through. Direct conspiracy. Don't wipe. Why the acronyms? What are they hiding? You are here, and it's a spiral. I wonder if it's gonna move. The you are here closer and closer and closer with our progression. I feel like I have to find the clicker. Just absorb the TV. But okay. Find the energy node. Okay. Okay. I, I, it's, 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 
The creek's deep in the forest, all the way in the waterfall. It's safe. Now get the fuck away from here before door zeroes in on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all of the versions. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Give me more bullets. I don't need more flashlight. I am worried about bullets. I am wasting so much. I am so bad at aiming. Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? In the waterfall, or near the waterfall. And I can hear it. Oh yeah, bullets. And more grenades. Damn it. I don't like grenades because usually I'm not that ooh, fond of using the items that are slow and in most games throwing a grenade is very slow. There. That looks nice. Just... The PRS was charged now. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. You can't escape. I am everywhere. I am inevitable. It's Fuck this shit. Huh? I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent. Played by me. Version of the hell. It's all true. It's no hoax. No video game. It's really happening. I was lost in the multiverse. Hmm. I had to become the role to survive. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. I thought I saw a guy here. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Fuck am I? Fuck am I? Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. <laughs> but I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Because he is inevitable. Cool, cool, Use the cool, PRS, cool. the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get out of I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. Let's jump in to another reality. Okay. Now it's a re noir. Are we gonna have like those no, inserts? No, 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 no. Oh. oh no, no. Welcome to Night Springs Ocean View Hotel. Enjoy your stay.
I was in a different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. Puppies. Okay, oh my god. So basically, one is the 12th, two is the three, and the three is six. Let's see if I'm gonna remember that when the time comes. to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. It's always the right time to visit Night Springs City's Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending breakfast buffet. Craving one of your our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby where you where happy hours is always on in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the time of your choice at the Ocean View Hotel. The right time is only a door away. Okay. So this is the one. But there was no six. There was not one, there was 12, three and nine. The clocks showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. Okay, you got this. Find another node, another TV. Shoo, it's a three now. I don't know what I'm doing. The same warning sign as before. It made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. Something to do with door? Entertainment lobby? It sounds like I could have a TV there. A Luma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. So the entertainment lobby has a TV, which is cool. No one a poison pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then maybe poison pill didn't even exist in this reality. I was in a comic book. <laughs> Funny. So where would be the end? Where would be? Probably in coffee lobby. The power node is... Coffee lobby sounds like it would be in the power... Uh, <coughs> Jesus Christ, like it would have the power node. <coughs> so now... Okay, so I've been into the three. Now you know I was, I've been to twelve, and now I've been to nine. So let's go to six because why not? You're fast. Hey, we, oh. 
Reload, reload, reload. We are the same. Jesus Christ, man, can you be reloading faster? Why do I have. Why is it always a revolver? So now we are in where? In the six? I think we're in the lobby number six. Do I have to go through them in specific order? Most probably. Let's see what is in the three. The last one I have not been in. Okay, cool. It's in Finnish. Corridors led to the same lobby, but in different times. Tell me something I don't know. Like, for example, which time? What time should I go to first? So maybe there's a, it's in here, so somewhere. Morning lobby six. Mm. So now I'm in three, so let's go to, to six. Maybe it should be one, so twelve, three, nine. It is quite marked, like one, two, three, so maybe twelve. Three. 
nine? We're just basically straight through the entire hotel. Yeah. Cool. The PRS was charged up. Now I find my way back to the TV. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Door. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Timebreakers attacked me. <laughs> okay. Hi. Oh, you're a big one. Uh, maybe let's go with... Okay, what is going on? Okay, there is someone. Okay, he's here. He is still here. He is still here. was a fun small puzzle, little puzzle. This time, a different attack. I thought about the right one. If she knew things. If I could find my way to her, she could help. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Whoa. I'm in a comic Something book. Different. A strange feeling. Still, yet moving. Like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free. Like text read out loud. <laughs> it is a very huge callback. To Max Payne, I think, when they couldn't afford the proper animation, so they just drew that. It's it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. Thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay, let's try this out. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now Ati. it's suddenly real? Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one <laughs> reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am on the threshold. A door everywhere. We don't know why. 
But he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them. Bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his wake, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone <laughs> I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me? <laughs> Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, Tor. The master of many worlds. It's it's so awesome I forgot to talk. I was so engrossed in the story. Holy crap. Oh my god, no. Dodge? No, I cannot. Oh, okay, I can also... I like the unlimited ammo in this. Oh. Do I have to go through? Oh, I have to go through. Final wave. Okay, okay. It's it's the last one. But where's the? I need to a power node to go through. <laughs> Impressive. Out of all the version, you might be the chosen one. Join me, and we'll rule together. No. Never! You will regret this. Also, I was lying. <laughs> Can 
can I? It's what? Oh no! Our TV! It's broken! Is there a new TV that I missed? Oh! Okay. I want to be taken to the top down now. Like Hotline Miami style. Or first two GTAs. I've been brought to the very edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench in it. I'm Everything not mad about this version as well. Color and energy. D12. I had to find door. Or the means to travel on. You should not be here. You made a mistake. Go to hell. <laughs> I am already in it. Because I am shooting myself, would that be considered murder or suicide? Oh no, I used the S word on YouTube, I'm gonna get demonetized. It's so nice. It's a, this section reminds me of the, the mines in, in the control for sure. I was shooting you! I was thinking I'm shooting myself, but when the what it was the the guy came over he looked like alan wake not like me but maybe it was me with the beard i was close nah. i knew i was close now We went through the D6, D8, D12, so it's gonna be D20 now. Or just a circle. After dreaming sleep, you come to a gradually, be you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. Focus. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape comes to your mind. A pentagonal trapezohedron. How do you know the name of this shape? That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the dream of consciousness. The ebbs and flow, flows of your thoughts. Hold yourself together. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break the, the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is a something, and there is you. Slowly, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here, in the farthest reaches of the multiverse, you have reached the reality only idea exists. Only ideas exist. An idea of reality. A conceptual reality. A thought tries to form in your mind. You focus on the thought and it becomes clear. In the beginning, there was the word. 
Here, only words exist. Words exist. They are everything. They describe this world and you in it. Decipher the words. The words describe you standing in a barren, conceptual desert. It stretches into eternity. In a place outside time. You wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. I'm gonna be a rebel. As you imagine it, a cup of tea, your chosen hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it, the concept of the smell and taste is real. You wonder why you didn't go with coffee as it is your favorite drink. You sigh wistfully. You imagine a, you imagine a sigh. You understand that here your thoughts are as real as anything. Assess your situation. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the detail of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be a solution here as well? Focus on the master of many worlds. You focus your thoughts on the master of many worlds. The desert dreamscapes around you around you darkens. You vaguely feel the terrible weight of an alien, godlike awareness shift many realities away. You can possibly find him, let alone face him. Prepare for war. You know you'll have to face the master of many worlds and his army of time breakers. He will s show you no mercy. You must prepare. Search for allies. You seek allies across the multiverse, reaching out to the versions of you who have not been turned into Timebreaker by door. You share a telepathic link with them. You are the perfect army. You seek a perfect place of power to build your base of operations. In the desert you come upon a gigantic petrified tree trunk. You convert into you convert it into a skyscraper of brutalist architecture. You set up an organization, a corporation. No! Call it Federal Bureau of Control! You call the wreck Ripple Effect Co Corporation. The name feels appropriate. You're approached by a version of the red-headed woman. Her name is Jesbet. She doesn't know you, but there is a connection there. You make her the director of your corporation. She carries a powerful weapon that can, can take many forms. Trust Jesbet with, uh, with the weapon. You trust Jesbet to, to wield the powerful weapon. She seems relieved and swears to defend you and the corporation from the enemy. As director, yes, but once warns you, the wreck is currently not equipped to subdue the master of many worlds. Without a technological breakthrough, your chances are slim. Scour the multiverse for technology. Under your director's leadership, agents of the wreck scour the multiverse and encounter many uncontrollable horrors. They are there are casualties. Finally, they locate a reality with a singular alien being of godlike power. It is shaped like a poly polyhedron. The being was has enough power to potentially defeat the master, but th the very sight of it drives any agent who looks at it mad. Have it brought to the wreck. It's Polaris! The alien being is shipped to the wreck headquarters, where it is secured in a containment cell. Not long after, the director comes to you with the intelligence. The master of many worlds is preparing to an all-out attack. The wreck is running out of time. Unfortunately, attempts to research the alien being is stalled. As everyone who is exposed to it goes insane, given the situation, Yesbet suggests a desperate plan. Harness the being's power and detonate it as a bomb. I will to do that. Under your guidance, the corporation builds a complex transportation system to move the alien being out on the battlefield. It possesses terrifying power. You believe it could be used as a bomb of devastating force. It will be your last resort if all else fail. It is time. Confront the master of many worlds. A hush falls upon the wreck headquarters as you wait for the enemy to come. People, your agents, your warriors. Stand staring at the monitor on the wall. Yes, but stands be beside you. Then they come. Time breakers shifting in, filling the desert. Each one is a version of you, killed and corrupted by the master of many worlds. The multiverse is infinite. There are millions of them. Lead the attack. You fight off the time breakers as your agents are cut down all around you. You see the wreck headquarters in flames. Despite your efforts, you're dragged down by the sheer number of enemies. 
use the bomb. You give the order through the mass of time breakers. You look eyes with Yesbeth, who is fighting her way towards you. You only have a moment before the alien lands on the battlefield amidst the ha chaos. The hum of its resonance is deafening and blinding, rising in pitch and brightness to white noise. Um, eyes. You shield your eyes against the blinding light, then nothing. The world and everything is cut off, slid off. You blink and you're alone in a deafening silence. The alien gone. Your agents, yes, but the time breakers, the skyscraper, all gone. You're all alone in the desert. Yesbet's weapon lies on the ground. Pick up her weapon. When you pick it up, it turns into a key in your hand. You look at the key. You realize you have lost your way, forgotten your mission and your goal. You have drifted off, of, drifted off course, carried by the currents of your hopes and ideas in this conceptual reality. Try to remember. You frown, trying to remember... Where, where, where you were trying to go, what is your mission? You look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you the jolt. You were trying to find your way to the master of the many worlds. There was something about the door. Focus on the door. With that, a door begins to form, come into focus. You realize it's missing something. Use the key with the door. <laughs> you push the key towards the idea of a keyhole on the not quite there door. And with that, the, is, the door is fully realized. Open the door. You turn the key and open the door. Step over the threshold. You step inside and stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping a this reality. He lifts his head. Look at the master of many worlds. You stare at the man in the eye. You stare the man in the eye. With a shock, you realize that you have made a mistake. You have grown to the wrong place. The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you were looking for. He's not a door. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. It's Alan! We have witnessed a case of oh, mistaken man. <laughs> identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host, the one and only Warland Door, and this is Night Springs. Amazing! I cannot wait until the uh, Lake Hotel or Lake House uh, comes out. <gasps> oh my God! Such good DLC. Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought I was getting closer, things shifted around, and I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches, the closer I felt to going mad. <sighs> Come on, control two. Please give me now. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.